Hey, you're at Steve Tech Videos. In this episode, we're gonna talk about uh, cylinder head and cylinder block resurfacing. Uh, first things first here, I'll get Dylan over here running the machine and uh, we'll roll this over. Now, the blocks need to go into uh, you know some form of a, a quality shop, whether it's ours or somebody else's, that's able, has good machinery, that's gonna be able to index your deck surfaces and believe it or not, your deck surfaces, everything is actually done off of the main saddle. I'll point that out. So right there, that surface from both sides is what we actually indicate everything on. And then the deck surfaces of the block are based off of that from 45 degrees off of each side of that. So as we roll this back over, After we indicate that in, it rolls up to our first deck surface to cut. Then rolls over perfect 90 degrees over to the other side. Now that's just your basic indexing, that's not a big deal. But what people are not understanding, and we do get a lot of calls about, is that if you can see here, this is a brand new dart block, all right? And if you probably not quite sure if you're able to see the surface finish, but uh, they are not final machined from dart if they don't resurface this um, you probably will be okay but it's not right it does not have the right surface finish every new block and every new set of cylinder heads uh, need to be resurfaced need to have a final surface finish put on them now what's the ra of the surface finish of a block or of the cylinder head um, I kind of forget the ra exact number uh, I believe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, t uh, 10 to 15 right around there, but smooth. Uh, there's no gaskets any longer that need to have any type of rough surface finish. Any of the multi-layer steel gaskets or even the copper gaskets, we still make those things as smooth as possible. So we use a large cutter uh, like that right there with either a CBN or a PCD cutter depending on what material it is. You can just see that right there. And that leaves an extremely nice, fine finish. Flat, square, that's in the fixture, but that's all in the machinery that you're gonna uh, be using to do that with. But remember, everything needs to be resurfaced. Stock blocks uh, and aftermarket race blocks need to be resurfaced. Now, also, uh, talking about like uh, uh, in the cylinder blocks, uh, if it's aluminum cylinder block, it's gonna have sleeves in it. Typically, the sleeves protrude. Now you can look over here. They don't protrude like this, but they do protrude usually two to five thousandths above the deck surface. All right, and that helps to uh, pinch everything all together. That protrusion up through the deck surface really embeds into the gasket. But you can only do that with a copper gasket. If you're gonna run a multi-layer steel gasket on an aluminum block, you're gonna to have to mill it flat. If we leave a copper gasket on it and do a hoop and O-ring program or hoop and receiver program, then you need to have those sleeves sticking up. And we'll cover in a future episode, we'll cover how to do receiver grooves in the block, how to do uh, hoops in the cylinder heads. 